So for mid-30s, I would still, you know, I would treat it exactly the same as if we were dealing with someone in their 20s in terms of using an antioxidant and a retinol. But as we get older, so we start to slow down in our production of collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid. You might feel that the skin is starting to look a little bit more aged, a bit less plump, a bit more, you know, lacklustre, quite sallow. You might need to look at investing in hyaluronic acid. I know this is a huge buzzword out there. And the reality is the real hyaluronic that penetrates the skin is the one that they use in a syringe in the injectable room. So we have to be quite careful when we're choosing our hyaluronic acids. Um, that's one ingredient I would, or product if you're using, take advice on because you really need it to work where it needs to work and it's not necessarily on the surface of the skin. So I would look at an antioxidant, a retinol, hyaluronic acid and potentially something to treat pigment because even if you were disciplined with sunscreen when you were younger, unfortunately we still will see that starting of that melanin coming through from 30s onwards.